hello hello welcome back to my channel this is the paint show i'm working on today and because i used reds over here i'm gonna go with greens on this side so what i decided to do was i'm going to take the island parrot and i'm gonna go over the entire thing and then i am going to take the dirty martini as well as the new dilution stencil um jolly holly and this is a small one and i'm just gonna put it on and go over a few places so I'm gonna do that really really quick and then I'll be right back I had forgotten. I also went and cut out a piece of the 80 pound cardstock card that is eight and a quarter inches tall by two and three quarter inches wide. I'm gonna color over just one side of it with the island parrot as well. So I'm gonna do that and then put the stencil on and I'll be right back. <laughs> So now that we have these all painted up, I went over them with the heat gun, that and my little piece of cardstock here. I'm going to set this aside and work on this, but first I want to show you the images that I have. From the Dilusions Any Old Elf, I have this body and this body, as well as this little hat. And four of the little Christmas baubles. And then I have, set those aside for a minute, the smaller elf from the Just Robin Along. Dilution is Just Robin Along. And I cut the hat off of it. And then I have three of the um, reindeer heads from the Dilusions Christmas ac accessories, sorry, as well as one of the little hats from the Christmas accessories. And lastly, I have this border from the Dilusions Holly and the Ivy. It's just like the one from a previous page but I had it stamped out already, so I just colored it up really, really quick and figured I'd use it. So to get started, what I wanna do is I want one of these. And what I did here was, because the eyes typically face that way, I just went in with my black Posca paint pen and my white on the outside and made it to where it would look that way. So I need one of those, one of those, and this hat. Let's set these aside for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to place this on here somewhere. Let me see. This little hat, I cut it to where I could tuck it behind the ears, like so. And then the little body. Something along those lines. So what do I need to do first? I think I need to stick the hat on first. Let me do that. I 
Now I'm going to go ahead and stick the body and the head down on here. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to decide, I, I think what I'll do is maybe just use this little thing here because I'm going to cut just the left side out of the reindeer. Now, before I do anything else to that, I may need to cut some more off. I want to put one of my reindeers directly down onto the page. So this guy will probably go somewhere around here. Okay, which, oh, well, I don't want his antlers to go over to the other side, so. Um, which hat does this one need? Uh, let's put this one on. Mm, that'll work. I'm going to go ahead and get this one stuck down and I'll be right back. Alright, and now for the last reindeer. I'm going to set these aside. Cause it's gonna look something along those lines, kind of. Move that over, and I am going to grab. Here's just a sheet of, well, a used sheet of 80 pound cardstock, and I'm just going to take and. Um, I think I need. Cause I'm undecided on what I want to do as far as. Do I want to? Leave it a little bigger. I don't think so, but we'll see. That and that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuck down onto this cardstock, and I'll be right back and show you what we're gonna do. All right, that's all stuck down. Now, before I cut this out, I'm gonna go in with my black Posca paint pen and I'm gonna outline it. Now, here's what I have to decide. Let me just go in and cut me off a little bit extra. I'd say this is probably three inches by like a quarter of an inch taller than this. <laughs> All right, so the question is, because I wanna make it kind of tuck behind here, do I want to leave it with that extra on or because I originally wanted to just cut out the entire thing and make this be what I write on the shape of the reindeer and I thought that would be really cute but then I have to keep questioning hmm. because then it would be hidden behind there and it wouldn't tuck in very much. So let's 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right above this antler and I'm going to cut out just the left side like I did this one and see where, where we're at from there. I'm going to tuck it all the way over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I do have to shorten it up a little bit. And if you want it to be straight, you can go in there and make it perfectly straight. But I'm not bothered by it. I'm going to straight up like this. And I might just, for giggles, curve around that edge a bit more. Just like so. The reason that I outlined it too is whenever I cut it out, I cut it just on the outside of that black line so that way when it's on the page, it's going to look like it's stuck to the page. You won't even really notice that it's tucked in so much. And then here, okay, so I determined that I needed to cut more of this off so that way this would fit over there and not cover too much of this and not be too far over. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take just straight from this antler and go around it. And then from here, I'm just going to go straight down. Okay, now just down the this side on the back and across the bottom, I'm going to put quarter inch double sided tape so I can get that stuck on. as well as I'm gonna go up here from the hat up. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna go on the bottom here, but I don't want the red on, so it's just literally gonna go down like this, to where it's just a little bit here, and at the top, and then the little bobbles I'm putting in the four corners. So I'm going to do that really quick and I will be right back. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my white Posca paint, or my black Posca paint pen, sorry, and I'm going to outline all my images really quick. Alright, and so now on this one, because it's cream on this side, and if I would have been thinking, I would have colored it the green first, but I was actually originally just going to cut out the reindeer and have it be the tuck behind, but then I realized it would make it go all the way behind. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, 
Um, you know what? Let's just go in with. I don't want to make it too bright. Let's go with mushy peas. And I'm going to color over this entire thing here. And then on the back, I'm just going to do a border all the way around. And because it's such a weird shape, this is the perfect time to do a stitch border just like that. I decided I'm just going to do a wonky line border straight up this side. And that is it guys, that is my page for the day. It's quite simple actually, um, but I wanted to work in green since this page was mostly reds. And I left these, or certain bits and places, um, in the cream color to pull the cream from over here. It just balances it to me. So I hope and pray that there's something in this page that gives you some kind of inspiration for your journal pages. Um, it's nothing too different. I just made a tuck spot and, and instead of using a tag I wanted to have the little reindeer guy on. And the reason why I went ahead and backed it onto another piece of cardstock was because this being three separate pieces just would have made it too flimsy and I wanted to be able to write back here. Um, and you could have just taken and stamped and then masked over your stamps and did that same thing but that's more work than what it's worth to me plus I already had all of these already stamped out so I figure I better use them. <laughs> um, again I hope there's something in this page that gives you inspiration for your journal pages. And if you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. And until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.